In this video I'm going to show you three easy ways to tell if your car has a blown head gasket along with some common symptoms that go along with head gasket problems. Uh, towards the end of the video I also have a fourth little uh, tip that will help you uh, know if your head gasket is blown in your car. Okay, we're going to be diagnosing a bad head gasket today. Um, customers complaining of the car overheating. So, the first easy check we're going to do is on a cold motor. We're just going to fire this thing up and we're going to check to see if there's pressure in the cooling system. This test is only valid on a cold motor. Um, if, the, if the head gaskets are bad, depending on the severity, they will push combustion gas past the gasket into the cooling system and these radiator hoses will get hard. Um, within the first couple minutes of the car running so on a cold motor just come out squeeze your radiator hoses and if those hoses are hard that is a very good indication that um, you could have a blown head gasket uh, also you may just want to check into the overflow tank and uh, kind of check the condition of the coolant um, that sometimes can be a good indication of um, you know cooling problems or head gasket issues uh, as you can see in this one here, uh, this is stuff is pretty nasty looking. So um, I'm not feeling any pressure in the hoses, so we're going to move on to our next um, head gasket test here. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start the motor, and this can be done. Um, you're going to want to do this on a cold motor. It can be done on a hot motor, but you don't ever want to open the radiator cap when the engine's hot because you uh, potentially could burn yourself. So. I'm doing this on a cold motor and I'm just uh, going to watch for bubbles. And as you can see, um, we have bubbles coming out of the top of the radiator in this vehicle. So to me, that's an indication that we have combustion gas escaping past the head gasket. And uh, we could potentially have a head gasket issue here. So, um, so on this vehicle, I want to be 100% certain that it need, this thing needs a head gasket before I go telling the customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to test those bubbles and see if uh, that is combustion gas bubbling out through the top of the radiator and not just air. So that will bring us to our third way to check for a blown head gasket. And that is with a combustion leak checker. Uh, basically, we're going to be using a fluid that tests for uh, CO, which is combustion gas in the cooling system. The only way combustion gas can get in the cooling system is through the head gasket. Um, so at this point I'm pretty convinced this vehicle needs a head gasket and I've also noticed that the water pump is leaking here. Um, basically the water pump has been slinging it up on the hood. You can see under the hood it's been slinging coolant up there and also across the front radiator support. So this leaky water pump is probably the, the reason why this car overheated. They probably ran a long coolant. It got hot. And now, um, even with a full cooling system, uh, it's still overheating. So we're going to use the CO tester here to uh, see if we have any um, CO in the cooling system, which would indicate a bad head gasket. Um, we're just going to take this combustion leak test fluid and uh, fill it to the line on our test tubes. I'll be sure to leave a link to the CO tester in the video description below. And if there is um, CO detected in the cooling system, this fluid is going to turn yellow. So we're just going to pop this thing all together. Um, when you squeeze the top of it, it's going to pull air in through the bottom. So you're just going to want to set this over the top of the radiator. Make sure the coolant is not full to the top because you do not want to suck it out. You can use a turkey baster or some kind of sucking apparatus to pull the coolant out. Um, then you're going to want to bubble this with the engine running. Um, you can do it on a cold engine. Um, sometimes it doesn't always show up on a cold engine. Sometimes you have to do it on a, on a hot engine. On this vehicle here, it failed this CO test almost instantly. So now we know for sure, hands down, that um, this vehicle has bad head gaskets. I will also leave um, a link in the video description below on where you can find all the tools I use to test this cooling system. But um, just a quick overview. First way to check for a blown head gasket is to see if you have pressure in the cooling system on a cold motor. 
Um, second way is to remove the radiator cap and see if there's bubbles coming up through the top. That is always a good indication that you have a bad head gasket or a leaky head gasket. And, and last but not least would be a head gasket tester or a CO tester, um, combustion gas tester. This is a pretty definitive way to um, know for sure if you had to have a bad head if you have a bad head gasket. Um, as you can see here, this fluid is just getting yellower and yellower. And this one actually turned quicker than most. Um, after a few pumps, it was already turning yellow. So I'll show you the difference here um, in a second. And also sometimes, you want to be very careful doing this, but on the start of head gasket, um, sometimes this doesn't always pick it up. So if you have to rev the motor a little bit, uh, what that will do is it will bring up um, combustion pressure inside the engine. And um, the more pressure in there, the more apt those head gaskets are to leak. So sometimes just by giving the vehicle a little throttle and doing this test, if it doesn't show up initially, then sometimes under throttle it will show up. So um, there you have it. You can see the blue and the yellow difference. Um, this vehicle is definitely going to have to have its head gaskets repaired. <laughs> now if uh, it does pass the test and you're concerned that maybe, you know, maybe I got some bad fluid or the fluid isn't working, I just want to give you a quick example of what this is going to do if I stick it in the tailpipe. Because what's coming out of the tailpipe? Combustion gas. The same thing that uh, we don't want in our coolant system. So, And a fourth little bonus tip. If you have white smoke or a sweet smell coming out of the tailpipe, that's also another good indication of your car having a blown head gasket. And there you have it. You can see it's starting to turn yellow. So That's just a good example of uh, what this stuff's detecting and how it works it's, uh... all right thanks for watching my video on blown head gaskets and um, be sure to hit the thumbs up button below if this video was helpful and subscribe to my channel for uh, more weekly updates